Yes, 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 yes. This is still Breakfast Daily right here on City TV. And don't forget, I mean, the show is extremely interactive. So use the hashtag Breakfast Daily across all social media platforms. Let's see what you're thinking. We want to see what you're thinking. We can only do that if you tell us. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Well, it's time for a nutrition segment. And Akosia Kunedu Yaram has joined us in the studio. We're going to be talking this morning about something that's very important. Um, you know, why your poor kidney health is responsible for your poor sex drive. Um, it's a particularly important conversation um, mm -hmm. for, for us, the guys. Uh, oh. Akosia, morning. Good morning. Please, good morning. Please, I'm fine. It's good to have you here. Please, how are you too? Please, I'm also fine. Thank you. Please, this conversation, <clears throat> let us enter the conversation. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, um, the kidney is responsible for filtering death out of our system. And okay. every 30 minutes, filtration needs to happen mm. in a normal human being. And then once that is done, you can be assured that 200 quarts, equivalent to almost two liters of death, can be flushed out of your system in a day mm. as a result of the kidney being able to do what it has to do, responsible for making red blood cells because... Mm. We are our uh, blood health, and so I'm always excited when it has to do with your red blood cells. Mm. So it is responsible for that. And then for hormones, other hormones of the body, like testosterone and what have you. And then the kidney will also make sure that there is balancing. So there is a reason why your blood pressure is this way or that way mm. because it is able to balance the amount of sodium or salt okay. in your body and so it is the kidney plays a very critical role in our lives as human beings and so it affects everything about you mm. but there is this whole thing and um, a lot of pressure it puts on men when it comes to sex drive and even for women because we also have our sex drive, or you have your sex drive. Let me yeah. let me be a good girl. Yes. You <laughs> have your, what, what's a good girl? I'm not married. I'm not married. <laughs> you have your sex drive being also compromised in a certain way due to Absolutely. your kidney is your kidney's inability to mm. function the way it has to function. And when I was doing the research, and I discussed this with Electra too, it was interesting to know that 80% of men with chronic kidney disease they have erectile dysfunction. Hmm. 80% of men. Interesting. Let me Interesting. just ask Interesting. about, because if it's linked that closely, right, then it's important to make sure that our kidney is in great health. Mm. Yes, when I posted right. this on the platform, mm. as a matter of fact, it's a, it's a huge platform, Riches Council something something page, I don't want to give it all out. And one man came out and was like, hey, ASMO, how <laughs> many times do we have uh, the average Ghanaian go like, I want to know my mm. kidney health. I want to know how my kidneys mm. are doing. Mm. But we wait most of the time. By the time we know that there is a problem, you're already showing all the clinical signs of the end stage. And at the end stage, you either need a dialysis or a transplant. Mm. And I always say that the lecturer was discussing it with, with will say that you, I've seen a lot of rich people come so down because they have to afford dialysis bills. And even when you think you have the money to afford a transplant, as to if you will get somebody yeah. whose kidney yeah. will match yours is also a problem. And so this kidney thing can take a lot from you. And it has everything to do with lifestyle practices we're mm. indulging. People drink alcohol and it's like it is their life so let them do whatever they want to do mm, people mm. smoke and it's like it's my life allow me to smoke as much as I would want to smoke yeah. people eat anyhow because sometimes even nutrients we mm. preach about nutrients here mm. but your inability to know how much you will need as kweku as a pioko as a kosia can also affect you in a way mm, right. so there are foods we are eating and then they are contributing to some of these conditions mm. a classical example i love to go for it that shh products <laughs> Fizzy products. Fizzy yeah. products. I like that. Because when you say fizzy, people sometimes don't know, oh, I'm drinking juice. They are mm. saying it's juice, but they are lying. It's nothing mm. juice. Mm. So anything that gives you that mm. sound will make sure you are putting yourself at risk. We should try to eat healthy. And mm. that's what a segment does. We speak week upon week about what healthy foods are. And so I believe that we all can do this to make sure we are improving on our health because 
sex drive. Mm. Mm. Okay. It takes everything from you. So, as a man. so I could say, let's start from the beginning. I mean, um, in Ghana in general, we have a very poor health maintenance culture. Mm. Health in general. So you typically won't find people saying, as a birthday gift to myself, let me go and do a, a checkup. Or oh, what, as part of my New Year resolutions, yeah. I'm going to the hospital to go and check myself inside and out. We don't have people mm. doing that. Partly because healthcare is expensive. Yeah. Um, also partly because maybe we just don't understand how important yeah. something like that is. But what, I mean, should we wake up one morning um, every quarter of the year and say, look, I'm going to the hospital to check my kidneys? And to, if so, what should we expect? To start with, I would say that um, we always can start from somewhere. Mm. Let's say the end of the year as part of your resolutions mm. for 2022. Mm. You can say that, okay, 2022, even if it's for once, it's something you were not doing. Mm. I will go to the hospital, make sure everything that makes me kweku, makes me up your core, is checked, including your kidneys. Because mm. if the kidney is responsible for getting debt mm. out of your body, it makes it a very, very important organ, just as your heart yeah. or yeah. your brain. And so we, we can all start. You I find mean, we bath. The we average bath person, even be there, HB, right? you ask somebody, when was the last time you checked your HB, mm. your full blood count? They go like, eh, no, so you're dying. It's like they have no idea about it. Anemia can also be a, a reason why you have lower sex drive. Mm. And on this show, I've spoken about it. If you're a man, your HB should be between 14 grams per deciliter to 18 mm. grams per deciliter. Mm. So if you have issues with your blood levels, if you don't know your food blood count or your total chemistry, as far as whatever you are is concerned, I believe that you can just go to any of these good labs around. I, I can't mention names because <laughs> I'll be giving shout outs. So that they, they are checked and then you take it to your medical practitioner for interpretations to be given to you so that we can just start off. So Let's say 2022, mm. I'll check my kidneys at least once a year. Mm. Mm. So mm. when you have your kidneys checked, what are some of the things that you should expect the doctor, the health practitioner, if you're going to see the nutritionist, what are some of the things we, we should be expect to be asked by the health practitioner um, and some of the processes that we should expect to be taken through? So there are tests to go. You can do the ultra scan or the CT scan. I believe mm. that whoever you are talking to can even guide you as to what to do. You can do the kidney biopsy. Mm. You can do the blood serum, um, uh, creatinine. Creatinine is very common <laughs> with, with us. We know okay. much about that. And then you can do the urine up albumin test or you can do the band what we call the band that's the blood ure urea nitrogen okay so there are tests to do and once you do that okay, so you, you can, on the screen so the you can be told where you, you are so we have the urine volume it can be tested so if you are somebody who is not using the washroom or sitting down in the house oh i don't do even up to one liter a day mm. as far as urination or expelling certain things out of you is concerned please we all have to be on on our guard there mm. are people like me who struggle with water intake because if you are like me who think water tastes it's tasteless <laughs> and so it, it, it's difficult it's for me i won't drink, sit here yeah. and always make it look like i have a perfect um, mm. life because i am a nutritionist i also struggle with uh, some of the things you people struggle with mm. like water simple mm. water i struggle with water so i deliberately have to be sipping on water mm. intermittently just to make sure i make up for my eight glasses or my two liters recommended for yeah. the day okay. so if you are going through all these um labs obviously you don't need to do everything but then based on what you and your professional will agree on you can do one and then your kidney status can be explained to you it can only be done after a test has, has been, been done. done. Okay, so because I'm going to take a break, ladies and gentlemen, and when we come back, we continue this conversation about why your poor kidney health could be responsible for your poor sex drive. We'll be right.